DCU will be heading the 2.4 million euro project called Providence to tackle the problem of fake news in our modern society. The three year project will be funded by the European Commission as part of the Horizon 2020 programme. The project will focus on working with citizens and creators to find solutions to distinguish between information and disinformation in the media. The project will be headed by Dr. Jane Souter, Associate Professor of the Institute of the Future of Media and Journalism. Well, the overall idea is to improve how people navigate information on social media. So if you think about when you're scrolling through Twitter, you get a huge volume of information, but it's very difficult to identify whether it's accurate or where it has come from, and you don't have enough time to go through each article. So we will just have a simple little graphical guide that tells you we know where this information has come from, we know that it hasn't been tampered with, and that should allow people to make uh, better decisions about whether to trust a piece of content or not. Fake news or post-truth was the most popular word in 2016, mainly because of Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Identifying this information that is intentionally and verifiably false is crucial to the modern media. However, thanks to great editing skills used, most find it difficult to identify this type of news. It depends on what the topic was. Like maybe if it was ex like very exaggerated, then yeah. But like I think when you're kind of just scrolling through, you don't really notice or pick up that much on it. Some of it's really well put together. Like they cite studies, but they don't cite them properly. But no one checks, and I definitely don't check, even though I should. <laughs> The Horizon 2020 project will focus on verifying the news for the public and journalists alike. Fake news has become a common phrase in our world today and as an increasingly common issue, provenance is a much needed development in the media. Meve Quinlan, DCU TV News.